and you're back with another episode, maybe, of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. And a Speaker Freak 95 once said, I'm perplexed and flabbergasted. Anyway, I should just, um, let's just zoom in on what we've got on this piece of paper right now. So, what you're looking at here is a little power amplifier I built. It's very simple, as you can see. Only uses six parts. No, sorry, five parts. I've forgotten how to count. Two transistors, two resistors, and an op amp. And here's the circuit for all you nerds like me out there. Now, I'm sure you've noticed that there is no voltage drop diodes between the two output transistors. So this is really a class B output, but that doesn't really matter because that op amp kind of compensates for that. And it does sound really good. So I'm going to give you a little demonstration of how it sounds. Now over here on the computer I've got some music, which we're going to play through this. It's playing through the uh, Vesta Fire tape deck as well. This is where the computer's connected in, and this is where the amplifier is connected to the tape recorders out. And it's going to play into this speaker. And I'm powering it off this power supply. I've forgotten where it came from, but I've got a positive and negative 8 volts and a ground out of that, so that's the uh, power supply. So without any further waffle, let's have a listen to how it sounds. Okay, and it's playing a lot louder than I thought it would. Okay, I'm going to turn the power off. Hope you can hear me talking. So that's with the power off. As you can hear, no sound. Turn the power on. I better stop that plan because I don't have any heat sinks on the voltage regulators there and uh, those two transistors are probably getting a bit warm at that kind of volume level anyway. Can you hear those dogs outside? Mind you, I don't think you can hear anything at the moment because I've got the fan on like full pelt right now because it is boiling in here. I mean, it's like 30 degrees. See right there. It's about 86 or something like that if you want to be all imperial about it. And in this room it's even hotter. We're at 32. And in this humidity it's like a million degrees. And now this is where the perplexing enigma comes in. So I went ahead and built another amplifier on this board, as you can see here. Uses this circuit. It's pretty similar, as you can see. Except, turn it on, and it sends DC into the speaker. So, went over the circuit. Couldn't find anything bad in it, but I thought, you know, maybe after unsoldering the chip, maybe I'd fried it with a soldering iron or something. I'm always doing stupid things like that. So, replace the chip, still got the same problem. Replace the output transistors, still doing the same thing. So in a last desperate attempt, reconfigured this circuit. So it's exactly the same circuit as this, which you saw earlier, and yet it still doesn't work. Now I'm only gonna do this quickly so I don't damage anything, but look. Turn it on. I just don't understand it. I've been through this with a fine tooth comb. Nothing is out of place. There are no short circuits anywhere. All of these components are good. I tested them before I put them in. No short circuits anywhere. There are no opens anywhere. And still, it continues to elude me. There's absolutely no reason why it shouldn't work. Everything in there is absolutely perfect. I even checked to make sure I didn't put the chip in the wrong way or something stupid like that. But still, I don't know. And do you know what? The two transistors that are on the output of this thing, those are two that were originally in this. And as you heard in the previous demonstration, they're absolutely fine. So I have absolutely no idea what is going on with this thing. But like I said before, it's a pretty good amplifier. No need for a protection capacitor between the speaker because there's no DC offset. 
no power on thump, and it sounds pretty good. Let me just try to find something a bit better than that. Ah, there we go. Much better. I better turn that off before people start complaining. Talking of amplifiers, I've got to do a little bit of work on my homemade amplifier here, but more about that later. Anyway, you may recognize this. Yes, there's that crappy ion USB turntable. Although, I've changed the cartridge from ceramic to magnetic. And I've added a counterweight right here, which is just a socket wrench socket attached to a couple of matches. But at least it gets the job done. It's not perfect. But it does sort of work. Yeah, trouble is though, when I get to about here, the counterweight, um, this thing here gets in the way of the counterweight, so that's got to go. Oh, and another thing, this cartridge hangs so low, it is the plastic. So I have to have it like that. So I've got to try to figure out a way of, around that. Of course, this thing is never going to be absolutely, amazingly good. But I think it's an improvement anyway. Okay, if I put it like that, it doesn't hit the ground. However, there is still one problem that I always seem to have with magnetic cartridges. I turn the volume right up. Always get that. Okay, so this is my amplifier that I made. You might remember me building it. Loads and loads and loads of videos back. Anyway, these connections right here can you see how flimsy they are? I don't know what I was thinking when I did this. Putting them on a piece of variable and then soldering them on, it really just doesn't work. So what I want to do is make a proper back panel for this. And put those connections on there. Because I'm getting a lot of dropouts, I have to wiggle wires about to get it to come back on, working properly again. Sometimes I'm getting hum where there, is, where there was no hum before. So anyway, that's a future project. I don't know if I'll make a video about it. And finally, for those of you who are curious, yes, I am still working on my cartoon. Now, I don't know if I can actually play something while this is recording, so let's just try that. Oh, wait, that's not it. It's a Sonic poop I made. Kids, there's nothing more cool than being hugged, but if someone tries to touch you, that's good. Everyone has the right to touch your body. <laughs> Most important, you should never tell your parents. Your teacher, a police officer. Okay, enough about that. Let's see if we can find my cartoon, and I'll play a little bit of it, but not too much because I don't want any, any don't want to make any spoilers here. You know something? I've just realised this is the last meeting we're ever gonna have here. I wonder who's gonna have this place when we're gone. Probably some nobody. So when are we going to start this meeting then? I don't know. When the others get here. Whenever that's going to be. Hey! Yo! Clam! Oh, that must be them right now. You up there, man? I'm just going to skip yeah, through a little bit. Yeah, we're up here. Hi! But it will suck you inside it. I'm not going to play too many spoilers. Anyway, um, I have no idea if that actually recorded while this was going. 
Anyway, that's what I've been up to, and um, well, guess I get. I mean, guess I better get on with those. Guess I better get on with things. So, until next time, goodbye.